You would have to have a very cold heart not to support anything that protects Australia's endangered koala population. But finding common ground about how to do it remains a pipe dream. The Palaszczuk government says its Coomera Connector Road project will actually help preserve koalas. Protection agencies say that's laughable. Putting your best ear forward to avoid extinction. UQ918, left ear. High hopes already rest with this eight-year-old female koala from Brisbane's Bulimba Creek Nature Reserve. We're just coming into the breeding season, September, October, so um, hopefully she'll conceive this year and produce us another joey. And giving Lord Mayor Adrian Schrinner the perfect segue for his 20-hectare koala-friendly tree planting project announcement. We're absolutely determined to make sure that Brisbane is the koala capital of Australia and that koalas can live safely amongst us. The state government also jumping aboard the good news for koalas bandwagon today, confirming a $24 million spend to lock in 400 hectares of koala reserve at Pimpama. It'll border an existing nature reserve of about the same size. So it means that we have a really large area that we can make sure our koala population has as much habitat as possible. Not convinced, the Koala Foundation. Um, I'm very sad to say that I think it's going to be useless. Thanks largely to the yet-to-be-built Coomera Connector Road Project. But look at the habitat that is going to be disturbed on either side of this um, connector road. Environment Minister Megan Scanlon concedes koalas will be relocated as existing habitat is bulldozed. But she says it'll allow experts to carry out a population health check. This allows us to actually do even more protection work for our koalas. I just don't understand why this amount of money has been spent on habitat that has very little value. The Foundation wants the Federal Government to rewrite the Koala Protection Act to declare habitat destruction a crime. Tim Collins for 10 News First. She is the global...